Well, hello. A new week and another episode on taking action. Welcome back to Quest for You. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day and joining me on this so very important quest back to ourselves. During my two-week break, I spent some time thinking about my podcast, and I'd like to focus a bit more on action. I spend a lot of time on these episodes. I've put a lot of content together, but what actions are you taking? I really want to help you on this quest for you. The content is there, but I need to push you more into action, I feel, so you can make the switch from a passive consumer to an active listener. A person that takes action will still consume knowledge, but will actively listen for the specific advice that will help them on their journey. For example, I listen to motivational podcasts so I can learn from others on how to be my best every day. But I listen to certain subject matter podcasts that help me with specific goals I'm working on. Action is so important if we want to move forward. I see it every day in my own life. Remember my goal about sharing my podcast with people? I haven't done a thing about it. I can insert 10 excuses right now that will get me your sympathy, your understanding, and it will make me feel better. But I still haven't taken action. The excuses rule over me, just like we covered in our action episode from last week. And at some point, the excuses win. You know when that happens, because that is when you forget about your goal altogether. It has moved into oblivion. Can't do it, will never be able to do it, Let's forget about it and move on. That's when excuses have won the battle. But sometimes you will remember your goal. It flashes before your eyes from time to time, like a little guilt feeling in the background. Something you know you should be doing and that would make you feel better. Action is key, but we are so afraid of it, myself included. We hide, we excuse, and we hold ourselves back from living our highest potential. Ryan Holiday defined action in his book, The Obstacle is the Way, as follows. What is action? Action is commonplace. Right action is not. As a discipline, it's not any kind of action that will do, but directed action. Everything must be done in the service of the whole. Step by step, action by action, will dismantle the obstacles in front of us. With persistence and flexibility, will act in the best interest of our goals. Action requires courage, not brashness, creative application and not brute force. Our movements and decisions define us. We must be sure to act with deliberation, boldness and persistence. Those are the attributes of right and effective action, nothing else. Not thinking or evasion or aid from others. Action is the solution and the cure to our predicaments. Action is risky. It catapults us out of our comfort zone and into uncertainty. What if it goes wrong? What if they laugh at me talking about my silly little podcast? What if they now think less of me? What if I cannot find the right words? So many what ifs. Action forces us to risk being wrong. Staying in our safe zone, we will at least not be wrong. But we will also never find an answer to all our what-ifs. Action is the solution and the cure to our predicaments. You think you're taking action. You're out there, buying books, signing up for classes, going to seminars, joining groups, paying your dues, creating pretty little online profiles, posting pictures and putting your content out there for everyone. And I don't want to dismiss all your efforts. But if you really think about it, you are preparing. Preparation is good, but we get stuck in permanent prep mode. I must have listened to over 50 podcasts and watched videos on how to start a podcast, the equipment that would be needed, the content preparation and everything else until I finally started. For bigger goals, longer prep is needed, no doubt. If there is a significant investment and time and money involved, You don't want to plunge in without a clear plan. But more often than not, 
the learning comes as you go. You can still take small steps and at the same time prepare and refine. Allow for action to be your research. Instead of thinking about what you might need and then consuming random material, start, simply start, and figure out what it really is you need to learn. Climbing, yet again, illustrates this nicely. There are various techniques to climbing, and I have to learn them all. But I also noticed that some come more intuitively to me than others. The other weekend, I completed a very challenging route that involved a chimney. Yes, imagine it just like a chimney in your house. You're stuck between two rocks and need to move your way up. I had done shorter chimneys before and I thought I knew how to do it. But when I climbed that chimney, I discovered I didn't. I was stuck for longer than necessary on a route that was really not that hard. After that, I did another route that was much harder but involved a technique that simply came easier to me. Maybe I have used it more in the past or or it just comes easier to me. But I did better on a harder route than on an easier one. Obvious action for me? Learn chimney technique, which by the way, is really not that hard. But stuck between two rocks, I couldn't figure it out. Go for it. Just go for it. Allow for action to guide you into the learning that you need. Keep in mind, small steps. Those small steps will not cost you your house and your job. They will be small enough so that if they go wrong, you're not completely off track and in permanent pain. Small steps build confidence for bigger steps. As you learn, you grow. But if you don't try, you don't even know what your capacity is. You think you know something, but then you find out you really don't. And you think you are not good at another thing when you find out you actually are. All I say is chimney. Action brings you real feedback and honest answers. It will humble you in areas you were too sure and it will boost your confidence in areas where you lacked it. And all along the way, while you take action, you will surprise yourself. You will be amazed at the knowledge you already have, the skills that come naturally to you, the resources and the help that suddenly arrive out of nowhere, and all the people that you didn't even think about that came to support you. And all these benefits are part of taking action. But they were not included in your doubts and excuses because you didn't know that they will happen. You only worried about the negative. But everyone who ever took action will agree that good stuff happens once you start moving into gear. And that makes action a huge motivator. When doubt and fear bring you down, action lifts you up. Tiny steps, small wins, even if the outcomes were not what you expected. Being stuck in a chimney wasn't fun. I was highly frustrated. My first reaction, coming out of it and reaching my partner on the ledge above, were negative. I'm still such a beginner. I'm not good at this. The thought of quitting, climbing altogether also crossed my mind. But later, on my hike back, I came to my senses and realized that all this failure taught me that I have homework to do. And this motivated me. I already started looking for new chimney routes to climb and practice on. Motivation and the renewed passion for your goal will follow you if you only dare to go without them initially. Action may hurt a little. Being stuck in that chimney, I was close to tears. But I got out. And so will you. The wrong turn, a few dollars wasted, the unnecessary trip, the disappointing person. Losses and failures are part of action. They are scary, they are uncomfortable, they hurt. But we grow. Inaction doesn't hurt now. Talking about it yet again with friends, reading another book in the comfort of our home, taking just one more class with that nice instructor. It doesn't hurt now, but it hurts later in life when you look back. Stagnation, unmet goals, dreams not pursued and adventures not tried. We live in regret forever and regret tears on our soul. It hurts and the longer we wait, the more it hurts. If you just force yourself a little, 
push yourself just a bit past inaction. Take one thing from all the lists you wrote, classes you took and books you read and turn it into action. You already won because it will feel good to have done something and that will propel you to do it again. Ending with a quote from Malcolm Gladwell. Courage is not something that you already have that makes you brave when the tough times start. Courage is what you earn when you've been through the tough times and you discover they aren't so tough after all. Action, my friends. What action can you take today? What is the one thing you can do today that brings you closer to the person that you want to be? Much love.